Professional black girl is something for me that is very specific. So it is almost this, these kind of unspoken behaviors that black women universally understand and can speak. So for much of my life, I feel like, because I don't really do hair, I keep my hair really short and natural. I'm in barber shops mostly rather than beauty shops. I've always felt that there's a, a lot of professional black girls in terms of beauty culture that I've been shut out in. But the one thing that I I know is definitely professional black girl about me is my lip game because being a professional black girl means that you can enter into any space with black women and they will you will have a common conversation about this particular practice and I love the fact that I can be anywhere in the diaspora <laughs> and like wear re re woo mac red and some black woman will say to me re re woo girl and we'll know what we're talking about one of the reasons that I love lips and I focus on them is because I particularly like mine but I just love our lips I feel like people spend a lot of money now trying to get our lips um, and so I love that there are colors that look good on us that don't look good on anyone else like I don't think that any other race of women under, under the Sun wear orange the way that we can wear orange um, I love that our lips now are being explored with just these bold crazy colors like jet black um, literally lemon yellow um, but I do I really do love that I have lip colors that like I can no matter what the shade of my black girlfriend or is or my like afro latina girlfriend is or even my Asian girlfriend we'll all be rocking like the same shade so I feel like it's a common language and my grooming practice around my lips is very serious I do a scrub in the morning I do a scrub at night I do a lip treatment at every night because Matt drives you out and like probably the attention that people put on their hair is like the kind of attention I put on my lips. Plus you kiss with your lips and so they need to be soft and they need to be desirable. My name is Joan Morgan. I am a feminist writer, a cultural critic, and I am a professional black girl. Meet us on the YouTubes every Friday for a new episode of Professional Black Girl and subscribe to my channel. Oh, and we have gear. So make sure you get yours, philadelphiaprintworks.com and subscribe to my channel. Okay, thanks, bye. Oh, I'm absolutely raising a professional black girl. She just turned 13, her name is Naimana, and she, you know, was insistent on me getting her hair and putting, you know, for her to put these braids in. Can I do it? You know, she called me the other day from my dad's and said, you know, can I dye my hair and can I flat iron it? And I said, yeah, you know. <laughs> That's your journey, whatever your journey is. I'm pretty liberal and free about her finding her path as a professional black girl. And she's doing that probably more so even more than me. Is it important to you to, um, I guess, represent black girls? Yes, it's important to me to represent black girls because, I mean, I don't want people to think that I'm trying to be somebody that I'm not, or I don't want people to think that they can just think that I'm a different race or Yeah, so you want people to know that you are black? Yes, I want people to know that I am black. Um, and I don't want them to think that I'm anything other than black. Do you enjoy being black? Yes, I enjoy being black <laughs> a lot, actually.